My name is Trayvon Williams. Today we're going to be experiencing the wild in all its raw nature. As you just saw, Hurricane Katrina has swept me out of my homelands and dumped me in this wasteland. And I'm going to show you how to make the best of a bad situation. First, you need to find food. Second, water. And third, and most of all, clothing. Today, I'm gonna show you how to find all of those things. And then once we've got our three primary needs, we're gonna make shelter. And that's how you'll survive Hurricane Katrina. Let's get to it. wildest creatures the glass bottle it'll nip you when you least expect it it has no problems taking the lies of children it actually eats children for breakfast this is just as good of a weapon as anything you'll ever find in the wilderness with this we'll be able to secure our food source Here, we found wild peas. These go great in, in boiled water. They make fantastic stew. And if you add a little chicken broth to it, you know, little bouillon cubes, you can often find those somewhere out in the wild. It doesn't take long. One of dangerous, one of, one of dangerous most wildest nature is the foot cramp. These strike when you least expect it. That's what we need a strong source of water for. They alleviate foot cramps and nip them in the bud before they even stop. Because we prioritized, because we prioritized food over water, now we must deal with the foot demon as we call him. I've gotten a proper plate for my food. <sighs> with this, we can eat. Now the key to finding Nature's greatest meal is war paint. <laughs> now use whatever you can find. Blood, shit, animal piss, doesn't fucking matter. As long as it covers your face, the animals won't be able to recognize it's a human and they won't run from you. So Alexis Wilds is about to show you one of the most fearsome creatures in the entire jungle, all right? Katrina couldn't wipe these bastards out because they're so goddamn resilient. It's the fucking dogs. These things can live off literally anything. As you see one's bounding through the water now, retrieving one of his favorite meals, stick fish. Now these stick fish, These, these stick fish live in bounties all, all, all along the ocean floor. And so, <laughs> yeah. The dogs. <laughs> these dog creatures have these things called owners. They're like parasites. They feed off of them. They make the dogs fetch the, the stick fish and instead of eating them for themselves, the dogs will retrieve them for the humans and the humans will give them close to nothing. Now, these filthy, 
filthy, disgusting creatures. They wear something called clothing. Now, although it may be a disgusting practice, I require clothing to survive because of the cold climate temperatures around here. During the daytime, the temperatures can be as high as 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but during the night, they drop to below zero Celsius. And mark my word, I don't want to be caught out here with no clothing. So, as we observe here, one of the naturally occurring vegetations in this area, known as Katrina. The blue nippled for fuffles. Now these things, while they may appear beautiful and edible, they're exactly the opposite. They're ugly and disgusting. Don't eat these. Now you may be asking why I'm hiding from the dogs and their owners. It's because they have a creature among them called a child. Now children are very particular creatures. They're mystical creatures. No one knows exactly where they come from. Some say storks bring them in and drop them over the land like bombs, cascading them into people's homes as these parasites eat and eat and eat. All they do is eat and scream. Some people say they they erupt out of out of the owner's internal organs in a spew of blood cascading everything in there disgusting umbilicus fluid. <coughs> now, the main thing you have to watch out for these is the protect protectors of the children called police. If you caught around children without any, any of the disgusting clothes, then the police come and police are all good guys, they're all bad guys, trust me man, they'll throw you in a... They'll throw you in a wooden box <laughs> called prison, and in prison, nothing good happens. Now, you may be wondering why I'm covered in sand. Just like the rhinoceros, it is a natural defense against pests mosquitoes and flies and any other venomous creatures that may want to bite into me. As you can see, it's doing quite the poor job <laughs> of uh, protecting me against these creatures as for the next several days I may be covered in welts. <laughs> <laughs> Does this bitch not understand the situation that we're in? <coughs> now what I'm doing is sneezing. This is the natural repellent <coughs> of the dog. Dogs are very afraid of <coughs> sneezes.